Welcome, Welcome back. Scott and Michelle Williams from Totality Living Well are here to show us how to make a delicious chestnut pizza with a buttermilk rosemary crust, which sounds amazing. And it, it looks is good amazing. Too. Oh, we're so yes. excited. How are you guys today? Doing great. You Thanks. said you got this idea for the crust from where? Tell us. I was watching a Hallmark movie with Scott, <laughs> and the lady was making a pie with this uh, kind of crust idea, and yeah. I said, what a concept for a pizza crust. Let's That's do perfect. that. See, I knew there's a reason we <laughs> love those Hallmark there's movies. There's a little right? bit of reason sometimes <laughs> that I get sucked into those things. Well, I love the ingredients that you use on here. Everything you guys do is healthy, which is like exactly what we need this time of year. Yes, exactly. And, you know, we don't want to sacrifice the flavor. We never do. But I love this idea because this has taken all of the components of the Christmas holiday season mm -hmm. with the food of cranberries, mm. pears, rosemary. But we've also added chestnuts. And mm. that, that's honestly something that we have not played around yeah, with. Interesting and place. we were like, well, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. So we learned about them. We started, and a lot of people just use those for soups and for stuffings. Uh -huh. But we found some. We wanted the real deal and to do it from scratch. But we found boxed ones that were already um, peeled and cooked oh, that at Trader convenient. Joe's. Yeah. Yes. But there are tons of tutorials. But they are uh, consistent, um, kind of like a, the consistency of a potato. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, they're really the soft. You wouldn't think they are, but they actually are, are really, really soft. Yeah. And, they, and they're a little bit, once you get them to where they're sweet, um, is when you once you cook them, they actually yeah. sweeten up a little bit. And they make Sounds for good. a good mild dish that goes into any sweet or savory okay. dish. So that's why they're so good for stuffings and soups. Yes. And Very pizza, versatile. our pizza. Yes. So what are you doing over here? So this is olive oil, garlic, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a base for us for um, for our crust. And um, the crust is really interesting as we actually took it uh, buttermilk and butter, mm -hmm. melted them together, mm. and actually put that into the crust, which is going to make it very savory and mm -hmm. very, very uh, tender. But so healthy, yeah. right? So yes, healthy. it yeah. almost gives it a cheesy component, yeah. too. So, okay, yeah. so what do we do next once we've got that on? Um, we had already um, baked some chicken, mm -hmm. and so we're going to do some chicken in this and uh, just a little bit of onion just to kind of give it a little bit more of a savory taste to it because mm -hmm. the other things can dominate and be a little bit sweet at times. Yeah. And you know, the one thing that I would say too, when you are working with sweet and savory dishes, mm -hmm. that a lot of times, just think about the element that you want to serve them in. You know, if you want them to be an appetizer, or do you want them to be a main dish? Okay. And then just kind of alter um, the dish to what you're seeking. Do you want it sweet or do you want it more savory? Do you want it balanced? Mm -hmm. So that's where the beauty of adding your onions and your garlic and all of that comes in. You can kind of um, sort of tailor that to what you're mm -hmm. wanting to do. Good thing to think about. You're putting the pears mm -hmm. on it. I see you don't have any cheese here. Um. We do, do, you, do you we, need cheese? We do need cheese. Okay. We actually forgot the cheese. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. But actually, is there cheese on this? We did shaved okay. Parmesan. Shaved yeah. Parmesan. Yes. Okay. And so, uh, but, you know, that's just something simple. I think a feta would actually be really Ooh, good on this, that too. Does sound really good. And we love white cheeses. Uh, to put on our dishes because it keeps the artificial colors out and so there is a little bit of a healthier component when you do kind of clean those you know right. process colors out. So we have just a few seconds left once you're finished putting all the toppings on how long do you bake it for? We, we bake it for uh, 20 minutes and okay. about 400 degrees. Okay mm -hmm. great yeah. and now you guys have this recipe you have all kinds of stuff on your website. Oh yeah we have all kinds of stuff and uh, you know everybody's gonna be eating a lot of fun stuff and then they're gonna have to deal with the fluff later so we <laughs> suggest that people People call us part. now because we can yes. help you continue the flavor yes. while you lose the flavor. Get fluff. a jump start That's because right. you don't want to wait for that, a few Exactly. Weeks from now. <laughs> All right, good to see you both. Thanks Thank for you being so much. Here. Thank we'll you. We also have this on our website at WBR.com. Still ahead, temperatures 